Hey Tink, say what's up to YouTube. Ow. <laughs> you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm super excited and I'm coming to you guys from my iPhone I decided that I would try to film on my iPhone just to see how it works out because y'all my camera be getting on my last nerve sometimes like it'll shut off like every 20 minutes or the battery keeps dying like it's just so annoying and like I need extra battery time or extra film time so I can you know get my drawing videos done because you know you need more time to get your drawings done oh my arm is starting to tense up from holding my phone but anyways you guys I'm gonna be showing you all how I draw a cute face today you guys I know you guys have been asking me how to um, draw faces and how I do them now so I'm really excited to show you guys how I do this and yeah stay tuned for the tutorial <laughs> Okay dear, so first thing first is our tools. The first thing that we're using is an HP pencil. You can use a 2H or 3H for lighter pressure. And then I have a mechanical pencil, preferably 0.5 lead for details. And then I have my highlighting pen for later. And then I have my blending stump for blending. And of course, our sketchbook. Not sure what brand this is, but I just picked one up from Michaels. So first things first, what we wanna do is draw a circle and just do it nice and lightly. And um, then we're gonna wanna divide the circle in half and put the um, line that for the um, eyes, I can't even explain it right, but um, make that kind of curved line um, near the, the bottom of the circle for the um, positioning for the eyes. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm starting with my first eye and I'm just, you know keeping a sketchy approach to it and just not making one continuous line but I'm making sure that I'm like making little strokes as I'm drawing it and um, just rounding it out and if you haven't already go ahead and check out my how I draw eyes video because that'll definitely help you with this part and um, yeah I'm basically what I'm doing here is I'm just making a line that goes across the face to match up with the other eye so I'll know where to put the eye at so it'll be the same position. Okay, so now I'm just gonna continue on sketching it out. And as I sketch it, I like to make the um, top part of the eye kind of come out like a, like almost as if I'm drawing a lash. So you'll see as I, you know, as I'm doing it, it's like so much easier to show you guys and explain it because explaining is so hard. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm sure you guys can get it like from what I'm doing. So next I'm drawing in the, um, what is this part of the pupil? No, I'm just drawing in the eyeball. Yes, <laughs> the eyeball. The pupil is going to come later. And um, yeah, I'm just focusing on making sure that the whites of the eye are about the same size both on both sides. So that's what you want to focus on here. And then I like to kind of um, just, you know, work on darkening things up just a little bit, but not too much right here. And then um, creating the lash that um, I love putting that those lashes that just come out because that really gives it that cutesy effect and that doll like look so definitely have them lashes girl because you know they be popping or whatever and then I'm making sure I am darkening up the limb the limbal ring I think that's what you call it which is the dark part around the eye so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm drawing that um that line above the eyelash part which is the eyelid yeah so I'm drawing the eyelid line and I, I don't like to make like one continuous line for that I kind of like to you know leave a little space in between it because I don't know I just like the look of that and so yeah I'm just continuing on sculpting the eye out and now next I'm drawing the nose so what I like to do is I like to do a little um, upside down triangle for the nose 
and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take my blending stump in a second and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do next yes here we go so I'm gonna take my blending stump and then I'm going to make like an oval shape kind of go ahead and check out my how to draw noses video so you guys could really see in depth how I draw noses but that's what I'm doing here and um, yeah so that's basically what I'm doing for this part okay so right here I am drawing in the nostrils and I just make sure that I make like little tiny like I don't make them too big but just very small and then I do like a little line above the nostrils and that really gives it a nice cute dolly effect since we're doing a cute like dolly face and I love doing like the button nose I just think it's so cute like I love button noses so that's like my favorite way to do it and then for the lips I take my blending stump and I just kind of make that little oval shape that I just did and then I like to take my pencil and make the outer corners of the mouth and the inner corner and the inner part of the, the lips and um, yeah I just basically do it like this and yeah go ahead and check out my how to draw lips video too if you guys haven't already to see more in-depth tutorial of that and then for the eyebrows I just take my pencil and sketch it out like this I have another way you could do it is if you take the blending stump and actually start it out that way which is cool too but I'll definitely do a um, drawing eyebrows video for you guys because I think you guys would like that but yeah that's basically what I'm doing here and yeah Okay, so next I am drawing in the chin. I, I like to do the chin first before I do the whole face because it kind of like helps me pinpoint the, um, the cheeks, which is what I just did here, so I can match it up to her jawline. So um, I don't know if you guys remember on my how to draw faces tutorial, I actually, you know, did the exos, like an exoskeleton or something, and I went more in depth with it, but I um, kind of simplified it here. So this is how I'm doing it for this face. And it worked good, and I like how the face came out. Just takes a little practice. And I really do like the method of like making those little, um, the little triangle before I round out the cheeks. And now I'm just erasing all of my guidelines. But yeah, I really liked um, that little tip right there, just making those little triangles first before you round out the cheeks. And then you draw that in. And um, yeah, that really helps a lot because honestly, it's I had like the hardest time before I did that little tip when drawing in the um, cheeks because it would just be like not the same on both sides, but it's all good now because I figured it out. But right here, I'm just drawing the hair. I decided to, to give her like some cute little bangs and stuff and um, give her a little cute curly cues on the side because I thought it was cute. But um, yeah, I, I can't really explain much but show you guys <laughs> and I basically can explain to you like how I just decided to do this because I, I mean I love space buns first of all, space buns are super cute. So I decided to do that and um, I just give her a little cute little bangs and everything and you know this really really brings together that cute dolly look that we're going for so I really really like that. Also, have you guys seen the um, Korean drama, Strong Girl Bong Soon? I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, my bad. <laughs> but I think she really looks like the main character. Like, I'll put up a picture so you guys can see. But yeah, because she has like a cute face like that. <laughs> and then right here, I'm just drawing in little details and the hearts, little things that I wanted to put in here because I thought it was cute and then next I'm doing the neck now with the neck I kind of messed up a little bit it's kind of off but I kind of fixed it up a little bit afterwards by like thickening the lines up but yeah you can fix that <laughs> when you're drawing but um yeah this is basically what I'm doing here just finishing it up for this part So next I'm taking that mechanical cute little pencil that I showed you guys in the beginning and I am adding in the rest of the details. Right now I'm working on the eyelashes because you know you gotta have them eyelashes popping honey okay. So I'm just darkening it up as I go um, making sure that 
the corner of the eye is thinner than the end of the eye and then I like to really double up my eyelashes as you can see I kind of do like two lashes together I love like that kind of clump look in a way so I think that's super cute and then I'm just darkening up the limbo ring and yeah that's basically what I'm doing here the eyelashes the details darkening it up and making it look super duper cute So now I'm just adding in more details. I love like stars, hearts, and moons. So I just love that. You're going to see a lot of that in my artwork because those three things are just super cute to me. I love it. And it just makes me super happy. So that's what I'm doing there. And just darkening things up. When I, when I um, darken my sketches up, I like to do my line work from... Um, thick to thin so I, I really love you know adding like weight to the lines and like making it thinner and thicker in some parts and you know not making it just one continuous line so when you do this it'll just make your drawings look so much better like it'll make it look so much more alive and pop out and just super cute so yeah that's what I'm doing here and you know being really loose with my strokes on the hair and um, yeah I love it. <laughs> Okay, so right here I'm taking my blending stump and I'm blending out the eyeball and just really making that, um, well starting to, well this is actually the iris now because this is the color part. So yeah, I blend out the iris and then I take my pencil and I make like a crescent moon shape and then I start shading in the iris and kind of like making a gradient almost. Next, I'm going to start adding some extra eyelashes and the bottom lashes, making sure that I just keep that very light and, um, you know, just flicking it outwards. <laughs> like, I can't really explain it, but yeah, use the flick of the wrist with that one. And I'll definitely do a video on eyelashes. Um, but yeah, I'm just adding the details in and um, going back in and doing all the little things that I need to do to really bring this picture together. So yeah. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so I had to come back in and show you guys this. I love adding those little two lines for the blush because I think that's so cute. Like I see that in anime or I used to see that in anime a lot and I just thought that was like so cute. So I love adding those little two lines on the cheeks and I just think that really makes that cute dolly look come together. So yeah, just had to mention that little thing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not finished yet. I put my signature in, but I forgot about the highlight. We cannot forget about the highlight, y'all, because we gotta have a highlight. So I'm using my jelly um, roll pen, and I'm just adding the whites of the eye, the highlights of the eye, and I'm just kind of just putting that on top of the iris or the pupil, putting that on top of the pupil. 
near the corner of it and then if it's not dark enough you could also go in with paint if you want it to be you know brighter or you can even you know just go in with your pencil and kind of darken around it too and just go back in with the pen too but um yeah just kind of left it like this because you guys get the idea but yeah you guys um that's what i'm doing here and i'm just cleaning things up a bit and i will see you guys at the end of the video okay you guys so this is the final image i really love how it came out um i actually ended up coloring in the hearts and the stars but yeah this is the final image Okay, my love, so that was the tutorial. Really hope that it was able to help you guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you guys can stay tuned for future videos. And yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this and I'm super excited for what I have in the future and what God has planned. Like, great things are coming, you guys. Just gotta keep pushing, gotta keep pushing forward and not giving up because the devil always tries to throw things our way, but we can't let that get to us. We got to keep moving, put on that armor of God, and keep going forward because great things are coming our way. And we're not going to let anything or anybody or any negative energy get to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> okay, you guys. I love you all so much. Peace, love, and God bless my homies. Can't do the prayer hands, but God bless. <laughs>